the what's LOI is going to end up at the end of May, I think, isn't it the the summer break, if you want to call it, the two yeah. week break, isn't it, or whatever it is? Yeah, it's going to end up. What have we made of it, and what do we think of? You know, I suppose it not coming back, or maybe coming back, or we're not too sure, really, are we? Yeah, there's still there's still a couple of details behind out by the sounds of it. Um, I think it was always going to be the case, wasn't it? Like, even from the start of the season, uh, RTA have said that uh, it, it, all, the, all they could feasibly do was get Watch League of Ireland to, to the mid-season break, you know, with the uh, the Euro 2020s coming up, the Olympics coming up, and the GAA season, which is it's it's that's, that's the baby boy of, of RTA. That's 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 the big child that, that they love to promote and look whatever. It's I know we're we're not always going to come on here and bash GAA, but it's frustrating to see, but. Yeah, they're just not realistically. They're just not going to commit the cameras or the commentators here. They live Ireland when when these things are happening during the summer. It could be for the best here, you know. And um, we've seen sides, seen sides do their own thing. Uh, whether that be over pre-season or, or, or things like that, you know, the likes of Dundalk, Longford, UCD. Like last year, we were we, me and you were watching a couple of fourth division games mm. on club streams, and they were brilliant. You know, the, the camera was fantastic. The commentary was brilliant. Some of them even had um, analysis at half time, so arguably better than uh, than Watch League of Ireland, and it was free. You know, the you, you problem, know what I'm That's exactly it. The problem is it's free, so the yeah. club aren't making any money out of it, yeah. and, and that seems to be wrong. You know, people yeah. should have to pay to watch their football. And um, again, for me, I look at it, and I think the League of Ireland need to get away from RTE. I think yeah. they need to get away from any of these television companies. And they need to start doing it themselves, set it up themselves, get their own streaming. And uh, because, as you said, there was a game I watched in Dundalk there last year, and it was a pre-season. They had people on the sideline, as you said, at halftime talking about the game. They had replays and everything, they did everything that you, you would have wanted, co-commentators. And it was a better service than, than Watch LOI. Now, I'm not complaining about Watch LOI, no. as in it's great to have it. But stuff like we were talking earlier on, where you, you, you turn your back for a half second and you miss a penalty incident and you don't get to see a replay. That kills it for the people. Yeah, it does. You know, it that really, really kills does. it because then you're sitting there the whole game wondering what the hell just went on there, you know? So, I mean, that's it's part of it. So they really need to step up their play. And, and something that was brought up that i seen on the League of Ireland group that we will be in, uh, that Lewis Shaw does, um, does a brilliant job. Absolutely yeah, wonderful yeah, yeah. job. One of the things that they put out there was that... The, you never see with RTE them putting their full effort into League no. of Ireland. And when you look at reeling in the years, and at this point it was made, when you look at reeling in the years, the FAI Cup is rarely, not never, but rarely in it. And every year you will see, you know, Camogie, Gaelic football, rugby games, Ireland internationals. But League of Ireland, forget about it. You might get one cup final here and one cup final there maybe over the whole lot of it but that just shows the, the mentality towards league of ireland there so are we wasting our time trying to get rte to help out with the league of ireland and should the clubs be pushing together and working together to get something it's a problem child isn't it in the eyes of rte league of ireland is the problem child because uh, it, it, it probably doesn't bring in the numbers of, of the gaa but what can you expect? You know, like in fairness, Watch League of Ireland was of it was marketed for a, a decent degree in terms of RTE standards, but nowhere near the near the, the amount that it should be. And I, I'm in the same boat as you. You know, I'd really like to see clubs uh, go off and do their own thing. In fairness, I was reading that uh, Bohemians were. Hey, you just got to bang on. Come on, Go on. Man, Go on. <laughs> I was just saying that yeah, Bohemia is part of No Name Media. Um, I, I, I got some got a good, uh, good setup off them, which we you know cameras to be bringing in. Um, I think their own commentary uh, with the man Stephen Doyle, a very good Bowes member and, and a media man for, for Bohemians. Their own replay. So maybe this could be an avenue that club, clubs could be exploring because you'd like to see it. You know that there's talk of uh, a replacement service coming in. Uh, for Watch League of Ireland, that will be a combination of manned and AI cameras, replays, it'll, it'll, but the clubs will have to provide their own commentators. So look, while, while look, we're not going to knock Watch League of Ireland. It's a service that a lot of us, I think, would have liked, especially for, uh, League of Ireland fans living abroad. You know, it can be easy to, to get uh, disconnected with your local club, and we never want that to happen. But it's just like 
half arsed. It's just been a half arsed effort from day one from RTE, and I think it'd be interesting to see how clubs can do it if they do go on their own because. A lot of clubs now have their own media teams and they have people that can do commentary. They have people that can, can promote it at a, at a good level. So I'd be all for it. And it, it, you'd have to make money out of it, whether that be getting local ab- advertisements on board, uh, Jordan the stream at halftime could be a, a way of doing it. Just off the top of our heads, you know, it just, they're, obviously they're going to have to look into that more. But once it's feasible and once they can earn a couple of quid out of it, I'd love to see clubs go off and, and, and do their own thing and just get away from more to you. Well, in this day and age of fan TV and yeah. the technology that's out there, clubs should be well able to do it now. So they should be well able to work it together that they, they have a package or that you have to pay for it, a premium thing where you have to pay if you want to watch the game and show grounds between, you know, Sligo and Longford or whoever it is. You know, there should be something there. And I'm sure they can do it. And I really think they should ditch RTE, ditch the other companies they need to start i think there's a i always think there's an an, an inferior complex within the league where they don't think they don't believe in their own brand and Mm -hmm. i think that they need to start up and believing in their brand and that doesn't mean that they're going to be premier league status that just means listen we're building something here and it will build it will we will grow it so whether we if if sligo against longford gets 200 people watching it then you got to work hard on then promoting it, marketing it, next games, next games, next games. And next time you play Longford, then you get 500 people at it. You've got to work hard at this. And I think we've, everyone's got the technology now. And if you want to make money and you want to bring money into the game here to build your club, you've got to start doing things yourself. And as you, the old saying goes, if you want something done right, do it yourself. And I think this is, this is one of these big examples. Uh, RTE out for me. Yeah, no, 100%. Couldn't have said it any better. Um, just need to have a bit of pride in what we do. We need to have that bit of self-belief in what we do because it's a fantastic league, you know, with a, with a, with a loyal fan base, especially to their own clubs, you know. like like, you, And this, this is probably the, the opinion of a lot of fans out there as well. So the fan base is there and the fan base is willing to pay for a good service once you know it's, got, it's going back into the clubs and it's going back into the league. So, yeah, I, I'd be all for it and I'd be really interested, especially Bowers coming out and announcing the plans. I'd be interested to see how they get on and I'd be interested to see if any other clubs follow suit.